Hey, what's up, street photographers? This is Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video um, about, I guess, the definition of street photography. Um, ever since I posted that one video of me shooting street photography online, it's hilarious because, you know, I just had this crazy idea, hey, what if I took my GoPro, mounted it on top of my Leica, and went out and took some photos and saw people's reactions. Um, so I was very, it was kind of a an experiment you know I didn't even edit it at all you know some people suggested hey why don't you take the photos that you took in the video and edit them into um, the the video and you know it's, it's a good idea it's something I'm gonna do next time um, frankly speaking I'm not very good with video I'm still kind of experimenting so it's something I could definitely do but my whole point was anyways um, I was just doing it as a huge um, you know experiment and one thing to also note is that, you know, some people are like, oh yeah, you know, you have all these people shoving their, their hands in your faces and being all pissed off. And, you know, there were some people who looked annoyed. But at the same time, you have to realize that when I usually shoot street photography, it's just like, you know, it's like, bam. And people don't really notice. And it's such a small looking, unobtrusive camera. But at the same time, when I was shooting street photography, I had this thing and when I let's see when I when you turn it on and you start recording let's wait for it it's got this blinking uh, it's kinda hard to see blinking red light and imagine this all strapped on top of this so this obviously makes the camera much more conspicuous so honestly speaking the reactions I got from um, people when recording those videos are not typically what I get. Usually I would say um, the percentage of people who actually stick their hands in my face like this, it happens maybe every or just let's just say this. I've shot street photography for around like maybe like three or so years and the percentage of people who've done that, I've only there's probably been like around maybe five to ten people who's ever done that to me, so it happens very uh, rarely. And also, yeah, like this huge thing, you know, blinking red light, it just makes it so much more conspicuous, and you know, you can't really stay hidden with that so much. Um, oh yeah, so going back to the definition of street photography, so you know, some people are saying, um, you know, a lot. There's some really good discussion on digital photography schools, some other uh, forums and blogs out there, and I really love the discussion because. Um, you know, it just kind of, I still think street photography is still, you know, it's getting a lot more popular nowadays, but it's still something that's kind of underground, not a lot of people know about it. And, um, people are saying, oh, you know, you should ask for permission, you know, if you did that in my country, you got punched in the face, da 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 And, first of all, um, when it comes to a definition of street photography, um, I believe that street photography, in street photography, you shouldn't ask for permission. Um because when you're asking for permission it doesn't really make a street photography because it's all about capturing you know candid moments um, when you don't ask for people's permissions is when you often get the most uh, you know interesting views but some people might say hey but if you're jumping into people's faces and taking photos of them isn't that altering their reality you know that is true and I think that's a whole different discussion um, if you just kinda look at my earlier street photography I used to be more about the you know take photos from a little bit further away, integrate more of the background and juxtapose the people inside. You know, the style that I shot for quite a while. And you know, it's something I enjoy, but you know, as every other photographer or street photographer, if you keep shooting the same thing over and over again, it gets kind of boring and I feel like you don't really develop as a photographer. So you know, one thing that I started experimenting with is um, uh, I got an old context uh, rangefinder. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. Ah uh, yes, here it is. Uh, so I got this old Context 3A rangefinder. Oh yeah, look at that beauty, right? So um, it was actually my old grandfather's camera. He shot. He bought it in like the 1950s, and supposedly when he bought it, it was the size, uh, price of a, a brand new car. And it's got this beautiful. I don't know if you could really see it. It's a Carl Zeiss. It's a 50 millimeter sonar 1.5. It's supposed to be a really famous lens. Um, Robert Coppa and his uh, when he was shooting um, uh, World War II, he actually used the Context 2A for uh, 
for a little bit, I believe. Um, so kind of a, an old tip. But anyways, so I started shooting street photography and, you know, pointing these into people's faces and getting really, really close. And considering it's a 50 millimeter, I kind of had to get really, um, or I was, I became more focused in people's faces and, you know, it was, it was kind of a, a different change in my street photography because I was more about the whole body, the background. But I think that really focuses on people's faces. You kind of see what they're going through. You could really capture the emotion, what's on their minds. And really, honestly speaking, even when you get really close to people's faces and take photos of them, I would say the vast majority of people don't even seem to notice. They're always thinking about something else, you know. Um, they're thinking about, oh, I wonder why everything, if I could get that promotion at my job. Um, if everything's going okay at home, do I have enough money in the bank? So usually people are like really out of thought and you know, and the, the biggest thing too is people are always on their cell phones nowadays. I mean, I noticed when shooting a lot of street photography, a lot of people are just sitting in the side of the streets like texting, looking at their phone. I try not to take so many fo uh, photos when people are on their phones, but you know, people are always just disconnected, um, not really thinking. So, um, and you know, there's some questions, uh, there's some comments I got about, um, you know, oh, if you shot that in my country, you get punched in the face. Um, you know, I would, I would agree. Maybe to a certain extent, if you went to like the middle of, uh, you know, Skid Row, and you're just kind of there at night, you know, you might get your stuff stolen and stuff like that. But you know, some people mention Europe. I mean, I shot, I shot all of Europe. I shot like, you know, Paris, Rome, Florence, Venice, um, Prague. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned London. I shot on all those places and I mean, I'm still alive. I didn't get punched in the face. I didn't get my camera stolen or anything like that. Um, and it's, it's, it's interesting because yeah, most of the people, if you just take their photo without permission and then you just smile back, you know, most people don't seem to mind. And you know, there's very, very few people who get pissed off when you take their photo and people who do come up to you and they might be angry and start yelling at you. But usually, if you're doing street photography, like, they're not gonna... I've heard very few, if any, stories of people actually getting punched in the face when shooting street photography. Um, yeah, so, that's my definition of street photography, shot without permission. Um, you know, there are times when I do shoot street photography where I do ask for permission, but mm, I'm not sure if I'd really call that street photography. I'd call that more like street portraiture, and I know a lot of people out there are really great at that, and, you know, I'm not putting that down or anything like that, but you know, shooting uh, photography in public places without people's permissions. Um, yeah, so that's my definition. Um, you know, I'd be interested to see what you guys still have um, to say. Uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you guys have different, di uh, differing thoughts, you know, I'm more than glad to um, listen to what everyone has to say. And I think, you know, it's, it's great to have this, um, this online discussion. And I can't believe that, that that video that I uploaded online already has like 22,000 views, which is pretty insane. Um, I actually have a couple more videos coming down the pipeline. Um, one of the videos is actually me shooting uh, street photography, literally point of view through the Leica. I, um, I took my cell phone, you know, it has this, I stuck it right behind the viewfinder and I was walking around taking photos. So you could, you could, it really, this one really does look like Counter-Strike almost. Um, so yeah, uh, stay posted. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the comments. And yeah, stay posted. Peace.